Hello and welcome to this Your Business Card Guy tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Corel Photo Paint, specifically colorizing using a mask. Here is an amazingly colorful photo, but what we're going to do for this tutorial is make it black and white, just like the previous uh, video, and then we're going to take these uh, glass explosions here, whatever you want to call them, and we're going to colorize them just so that we can see how this works. The method we're going to use is a mask. Now a mask, if you're not familiar with it, is essentially a, think of it as a layer of film or plastic, something that you're laying on top of uh, a piece of artwork the, that you want to work on. So whether it's a blank page or if it's you know, a photograph or whatever, you put this layer on top of it. That is your mask. Now anything you do, for example, cutting holes out of the mask, will allow you to then apply color to the layer underneath while the rest of the area is still protected and covered by the mask. Uh, for those of you who uh, went to school and had art class where they maybe had this, um, you're familiar with it from the silk screening technique. Uh, we used to do some t-shirts and you'd have your t-shirt, you'd, you'd come up with a design on paper, you would draw it out exactly how you want it, you then had to uh, use an X-Acto blade to cut out the design you wanted and then you put these these uh, layers, essentially these masks, into the tray which sat on top of the t-shirt. You then plop your paint in there, you use the little squidgy thingy and it would apply this paint, this you know color whatever, to the t-shirt and depending on how complex you may have multiple masks you know people that do screen printing have these machines that'll have you know three to six uh, screens that they cut out each specific color into a different layer they then put down the first one apply the color rotate second one next color etc etc and that way they can create a multicolored design but they have to use multiple masks with the computer, it's quite a bit simpler. First thing I'm going to do is change this into grayscale, just like we did before. I'm just going to accept the defaults and get done quickly here. I need it to be color again, so I'm going to switch it back. Uh, and now what I want to do is to define these areas. These are glass, by the way. They're large, sort of, uh, they look like fountains, if you will, almost like exploding out, kind of cube-shaped. They're glass-blown. Um, and we want to have these to be color in the end. For this tutorial, the rest of it's going to be black and white. I'm going to use the same photo for the next tutorial as well, but we'll get there. So what I want to do is essentially mask off the entire image, but reveal this section here for me to be able to apply some color. So the tool that I want to use for this is the paint what they call the brush mask. It's like the paint tool uh, like we did before, but I'm not painting color. What I'm doing is I'm cutting a hole in the protective mask, and you'll see how that looks here in a second. Find a nib size that works. I'm going to go down a little smaller. And again, same type of deal. You can do some feathering. In this case, we want our transparency set to zero because I want it to cut completely through it to allow the color to be set onto the photo. Again, think of a t-shirt you know, printing process is a similar idea. Uh, it's red, and if you're familiar with that film from, uh, for me it was junior high, it, it was red. And you cut it with an X-Acto knife and you, you made a, a dragon or whatever. Um, you can see through it. I see my image underneath here. Uh, you will notice that there are these modes up here. This is very important. Uh, for those of you who've seen the tutorial, on removing a background using the cutout lab there was an add and a subtract option well we have the same thing here right now I'm in additive mode and so every time I do something it adds to it if I clicked over here to the normal mode when I click and it starts over each time that's obviously not the effect we want uh, so double check your defaults if you're trying a, a version of this after watching this video if you want to try it yourself mine was in the normal mode and so I was uh, it took me a second to remember to switch it over uh, and so I can paint on here and uh, go around the edge of my object and if I make a mistake like this you can see I'll zoom in here you can say oh man I don't want to reveal that 
remember you're cutting a hole in this so I want a subtractive and the nice thing about this is because I'm not painting I'm just creating the hole I can fill it all back in and uh, change the size down let's say 10 here get in here I can be real uh, you know crazy and specific about it and again any real project I'm gonna be very careful obviously tutorials I'm working a little bit quickly uh, what I'm gonna do here is pause this and I'll show you the completed version that I've worked all the way around this so here is the same image and I've taken the time to go around both objects so remember this red is a protective film and I have this hole cut out through it within this I now have the option of adding color now the you know colors are obviously all depend upon what it is you want to do I'm just gonna pick something here um, it could be you know anything the key is when I use my fill is this transparency here if I set this I'll set this down a little lower just so we can see it if I click and fill this in it looks ridiculous you know if I remove the mask I'll remove it here you say geez Louise that just doesn't look good at all uh, and it doesn't uh, what you want to do is set your transparency high enough so that you get the color added but it doesn't remove all the detail you still get to see the object and it looks a bit more natural click on it again click on the other one remove my mask and you can see in this case I have a slight blue slight green effect the rest of its black and white obviously I could say well I want it a little bit you know stronger than that I'm gonna set this down to 70 go here remove and that's not a bad effect at all now again you can go through and specifically highlight areas and change them use other paint tools to complete your design but this is a quick way to use a mask to protect an area reveal another area and then apply color to it so this is colorizing a black and white photo using a mask thank you for watching this has been a Corel photo paint tutorial colorizing a photo using the mask tool uh, if you have any other questions about design work please hit me up you got my YouTube channel you can also check us out online at www.yourbusinesscardguy.com for the best value in business cards.